Hello. Am I live? No, it looks like I am live. Someone just got the gimp. So I'm a little addicted to this game. I haven't played it since the last time I streamed it. But that still makes me... Still, I would say, a little addicted. Um, so you can just, if you want, you could just call me Macaulay Culkin. If you want. That, that's gonna be my nickname. That was a good joke, you know it. It's good. It took me four minutes to think of that joke. Uh, I'm gonna stick with... Yeah, look at that jabroni outfit. Oh man, I wish there were jorts. There's, there's no jorts in this game. That's disappointing. I'm gonna go for the camouflage though. Also, does this game sound a bit loud to anyone else? Hang on, let me, let me check the overall volume. Uh, compared to me, the game is... Maybe a little loud. Here, you know what? I want to get some motorcycle pants, because that's how you, you be a real jabroni. Now no one will ever see me. I hide in the shadows. So today we're going to be doing random airdrops. And we're going to do... I guess I could try a few different perks. Um, I like stealthy, but I'm also wondering if maybe... Maybe I want to give something else a shot. Oh, okay, I see. More maps, amputation animations, fatalities, that's good. Thank you. Very, very good. I I'm really excited for the future of this game. Oh, well, this is a double salt stream today, everyone, so uh, I'd like to welcome you here. Uh, next time I do Zelda, we'll do a full stream of it. Today we're gonna just do, um, some calling matches, then Darkest Dungeon. So, just, you know, just a great way to get really fucking salty. So these weapon... buffs... Um, there's a really good buff for, um... Brass Knuckles that people were, were bitching about. God, I got all utility stuff. It's just extra damage, period. Crafted weapons. Snares. Okay, you know what? I, I'm just gonna stick with this for now. Cause there's there's just too much shit. It's so hard to to find a good option. You're really low. Am I? Am I is my voice lower than usual today? Cause it's the same settings. I'm I'm using the exact same settings as usual. Um, check Bep. D don't I didn't say Bep. I did not say Bep at all. Do I plan on playing Hyrule Warriors anytime soon? I played a little bit earlier actually. Um, okay, sound fine? Good, thank you. Uh, so, someone sent me their Hyrule Warriors Legends code for the extra characters in the Wii U version, and I tried it just a little while ago, and the European version doesn't work on the Wii U from North America, so... So, there was a potential Hyrule Warriors stream tonight to check out the new characters, but that didn't happen, so... Um... You know, whatever. So I'm gonna go for early knife this time. I'm gonna try to change my playstyle a little tiny bit. And uh What I'm gonna do is early knife into bandage. And then when I get the resources, I'm gonna go straight into a satchel. So that right there is a satchel. 
YouTube, I didn't change this stuff on YouTube. You're correct, I didn't, sorry. YouTube is very behind on titles, like, you, you know, you have to choose from, like, a different, you know, you, you have basically a list of games on Twitch and YouTube that you get to choose from, and if it's not there, then it doesn't exist, basically. And the calling is not on YouTube. So this game doesn't exist. In fact, a number of games I stream do not exist on YouTube. You'll notice sometimes when I stream trash, it's just because that's the weird, that's the, you know, that's the only thing available. That and weird dreams. So this part of the map is usually good to farm a little bit of funk. And it's usually pretty isolated. I, I almost never find anyone to attack early on if I spawn over here. Watch someone jump out of the bushes and fucking shank me. Here's a good method. Someone's here. way. No fucking way. Really? What the fuck? With their bare hands. What an animal. Oh man, bad first match. I played very poorly. That was a very, very, very bad first match. I was like blocking when I should have been attacking. I was pushing when I should have been blocking. Just shit all the way through. I'll get him this time, mates. Also, oh, that was a quick one. Someone in chat just said the issue is that you look like not a douchebag. So wait a minute, you're saying I have to look like a douchebag to be good at this game? That's not fair. Come on. I don't, I don't want to. I want to look like a gimp. Why do I have to look like a douchebag? Okay, this is definitely a cool first place. Because it is fucking massive. Also laggy. You'll notice the frame rates are not intact when I'm in here. Bandage. Foreskin. Really should get that backpack like right now. Okay. That'll make this a little bit more tolerable to explore. Um, what type of map do I want to see for this? Um, I discussed this with a friend of mine, and the answer is. Anything that's not jungle would be great, because these types of games have just forest and jungle. And lots of forest, lots of jungle. Maybe some kind of desert map um, would be kind of cool, I guess. But I'm thinking more like city, 
urban warfare would be great. Uh, I would like to see maybe Arctic. But yeah, I think a city would be kind of cool. There would be a lot of options or opportunities for lots of cull. Here's a tip. There's actually an invisible locker there. If there's an item there, you'll see it. It's really even worth it to open up these things. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not really entirely sure about that. Um, I'm gonna just use this because I want the alarm gun. I like to be a prick with the alarm gun. Someone just said swamp. Um, spaceship hmm. that flies into the center of the sun. Whoa! Now you're onto something. A volcano. Okay. That could work. I can see that work. I'm thinking maybe also, um... Someone was just beaten people to getting death. murdered. Someone said a, a haunted mansion. I don't know how, a, like, a house or, like, one mansion would work. If there's, you know, all these people and you need, like, room to, like, go around and do shit. But I would like a spoopy. I would enjoy a spoop. Themed map. That would be cool. Small map. Yeah, I guess you're right, Jeff. Maybe, by the way, if you're up, up for a 2v2, I might want to do, like, one or two of those. I'm just going to do some free-for-all first, because I, I actually, I do like free-for-all a little bit better. Because there's something especially unsettling about playing this game alone. And uh, also a little bit more fair in some ways. Or at least it feels that way, but I know it's not. Alright, how about inside someone's balls as a map? <laughs> this dude's running away. Oh, you, you silly, silly child, you. Someone just shot something at me, I think. Oh shit, it's over. Thank you. I'm done. If you are bleeding, put pressure on the wound. Fucking hell. The beating of your life. Because you're dead. You are feeling weak. You may have a disease. Weakness is not your opponent just killed another contestant. Well, is on the way. While you wait, please listen to the following. I, I gave him a good alarm. Your personal emergency beacon can be activated for personal medical emergencies, personal fire emergencies. Personal safety emergencies. I, I'm really, like, I'm kind of wondering if I should just watch this just to see if someone, like, goes to him. Based on the alarm gun's annoyingness. Let's see. Eligible for the following medications. Morphine. Synthetic morphine. 
Fentanyl. <laughs> MK Ultra. Moroccan Black. Here. Liquid Elvis. Synthetic Jackson 5. Releasing that doesn't look like it so far. Flush out toxins. Do not be afraid to cry at this time of duress. Oh shit. Not attempt self He's gonna get that airdrop too. Diagnosticians will provide your diagnosis and quarantine you shortly. Weakness is a symptom, not a disease. If you have disease, try not to infect others until health professionals arrive. He is gonna get that. All he has to do is shoot that with his, his alarm gun. He can't be that dumb. Come on, dude. I don't want him to get it, but Do not try to move or you may aggravate your condition. Yeah, he just has to shoot that down and he'll get it. Please return your beacon to one of our service centers for recycling. Thank you. He doesn't know that you can shoot it. If you are bleeding, put pressure on the wound. If you are unable to control the bleeding, or maybe he doesn't want to. Maybe he wants to keep the alarm gun. That bastard. Oh, God. Oh, you can move around while you do that. Oh, he just got a bunch of stims. All right. So let's do oh, this. This is like rapid fire culling. When you get culled. You, you either start again, or you live long enough to see yourself become a hero, or something like that. My code name is Macaulay Culkin. If you didn't hear that joke the first time, I thought you might enjoy it the second time. Uh, well, I gotta get the load drops. Hundred percent duration for bleed wounds applied to by all blades. Chance to cripple wound. Blade ten percent movement speed. That backstab. Some bludgeon. Stuff. I, I wouldn't even really know where to begin with most of this stuff because I, I it depends on whatever I find You know like I'm not really particular about what weapons I use I kind of just fucking do whatever Also if you missed it Chrono Trigger ended last night and it was It was a very emotional night. It was a very good stream and We had some some good times together so hopefully, Chrono Cross won't be, won't be poopy. There's a few moments in Chrono Cross that I'm dreading, but for the most part, I'm really excited to play it. Oh, is that, is that, oh yeah. Yeah, give me that. There's another one? Oh shit. How many times have I won calling matches? Probably like five or six. Someone is nearby, I think. Punch that shit until a rock comes out. Usually a bunch of sticks are near your spawn point, but it doesn't look like that happened this time. Yeah, rub rocks together to make a knife, rub sticks together to make a bandage, and then with a little bit more effort, you get a satchel. It's, again, this is just basic science.
Okay, where the fuck am I? going on in here. There's a fight in here. Maybe I should just let him fight for a bit. Oh, shit! Someone just tried to shoot me. Means fucking run. There is a dude behind us. Just waiting for this match to be over. So he can fucking slice up the winner. I gotta watch this for a sec. It's time to play Loot Express. In one minute, sixty seconds, a random package will be delivered to Coltec Lab. Now you're all better. Here we go. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, I can't leave yet. This is too good. There's three contestants. Soon to be former contestants. Look at the dude in the back there. It's just it's just being a slimy scumbag, just waiting, like I was about to do. I wouldn't have been a slimy scumbag had I done it, though, of course. Green hair is gonna win. Yep, well, there goes slimy. Blue blood is about to get his himself checked before he gets wrecked. And... The winner of this particular competition of strength and men is Ofish, you asshole. Everyone's an asshole who plays this game except you. That's the rule of the calling. See, they're assholes. You're you're the good guy and you can do anything you want. You can be as you can backstab people, you can stealth people, you can team up. As long as it's you, it's fine. But if anyone else does it, they're a scumbag. Trust me, I know this. I've been playing this for at least a week. Also, I, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. My, uh, my CD smells really good. It's like, whoa, what is that? What is that? It almost smells... Mother Teresa's. What? No, I'm, you know I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna put any mental images. Wow, it smells so good. It smells like fresh, freshly recycled cardboard. I'll put the new hoodie on next time. I accidentally smelled it earlier. I was like, wow, that's a... Uh... It's like, you know that new, fresh car smell? It's kind of like that. But in this in this case, it's not a car. I mean, you, you can't download a car.
Also, uh, just on a really sad side note, I, I don't mean to bring the mood down, but rest in peace, Gary Shandling. Um, he was, he was a really fucking smart and funny motherfucker. And, uh, if you've ever seen the Larry Sanders show, you know what I'm talking about. You should watch season one, uh, five, episode one of that show for uh, the one with David Duchovny in it. It's really funny. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, Conan did a little tribute to him and it was it, really sad. Somebody just killed some chump. With can, can we like, can we bring 2016 back to a store? You know, and, and like get a different one in as a replacement? Your enemy was just Cause that would down. be, that would be great if we could do that. Win. We got a man tracker. Did you hit your head? I'm a fan of the man tracker, that is. And oh, I could actually recycle this mine. And even recycle this iron foreskin. So that's twenty that's thirty-five. I'm gonna do something dumb. I should have kept the mine if I was looking for. Um, you know, if I was looking for like um, explosive crates that I have to destroy with explosives, then sure. But uh, I don't think I don't think right now I'm looking to uh, use that mine. Also, what's my airdrop? 105 for medic airdrop. I don't know what that is, but. I need a better weapon. So I'm going to go for this blue crate. Pipe wrench. Okay. Tier 3. I'm okay with the pipe wrench. Somebody just killed another contestant with a melee weapon. The bludgeoning weapons aren't as good as the blade weapons because the bleed effect is amazing. The weakness effect from bludgeoning could use a little bit of a boost. So people are saying right now that if they nerf bleeding just a little bit and boost weakness just a little bit... Oh, fucking hell. Well, I could have used those explosives on that crate. There's an axe murderer on this island. I, I didn't think I was going to run into it, but I'll tell you what. Maybe I'll get lucky. I know where it is. If I get another explosive, I could just use it on that. But that is some shit luck, let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. Where's this place? Nope, not quite. And an item crate. Steel pot. Yeah, that's our that's our band name. Yeah, steel steel pot, pipe, and the, the name of our first al album release is uh, Suck the Eight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Suck the Eight. There's a wait, 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 wait. I thought you could charge into a shove. It didn't work that time. You 
see that? Now, that dude was using a fucking, a crafted knife that whole time. I mean, that's pretty, uh... That's a pretty good starting weapon. Just a regular old crafted knife. Is that steel snare again? Okay. Well, there's a few things I can sell. I can get my medic airdrop. It's got, um... No weapons. Maybe I'm not gonna get that medic airdrop, never mind. I don't think I wanna... I don't think I care enough about the medic airdrop, it's just stims. Well, stims could be really good, too. Oh fuck, someone activated the, the kill switch, god damn it. It's, it's about to get shitty in here. I don't think there's any poison nearby. No, I might be good. I'm good. Good help will keep I hope you feel better. What I want to do is um I want to get an explosive. Also, it is best if your skin does not come in contact with the water. You're good to go. Another contestant just got cut into little pieces with a razor sharp blade. Iron foreskin. Chances are I'm not going to see anyone for a little while. He said before getting killed. So I'm just going to do that. Put an arrow through someone's eye. No amount of protective eyewear could have stopped it. So in order to get an explosive, what I need is an explosive barrel plus this rock. Right? Is that good enough? Will that open it, or do I need more? Do I need a more powerful explosive? Oh, man. What are those? Oh, it's stick and barrel. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not the rock. Someone nearby. He's no longer nearby. I I'm just gonna let him. I'm gonna let him go. Jen, are you invoking Doc and Marty? Marty, I need you to lick my balls, Marty. Please. Please work. Yeah, it works. Oh, that's really, oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Come at me, friend. Come on, I shoved him. You just got killed. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, today's not my day. Oh, is that how you craft that? Okay, your, your hands float around it, and then you, um, I see. Your hands float around it, and then you insert your, your hand directly into your crotch. Got it. Yeah, I'm a little salty. It's okay. 
That's all right. That's 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 the name of the game. Tonight is double salt, double night, double dildos. Two, two red dildos, two red dildos. They sound like this when you slap them together. Two, double salt. Tonight's very salt, but that's okay. Like I said, that's what I'm here for. The Calling is is a very addictive game that makes you kind of hate playing video games a little bit, but that's why I love it so much, guys. I think I have a problem. Help me. Help me. I need to call less. By the way, I realized something. Today, I discovered that I own four Blu-rays. That's it. Just four. And it is a very bizarre and eclectic collection of Blu-rays. I have Blade Runner, the 30th Anniversary Edition. I have Interstellar, Space Cop <laughs> from Red Letter Media, and the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. I mean, two of the schlockiest movies paired with two space movies. Even though Space Cop is a space movie. Okay, so, th well, Blade Runner is not a space movie. It's just a really bizarre collection. Oh, fuck, I, I hoodie edged you guys. Sorry about that. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, next time. <laughs> I promise, next time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do the early satchel. I mean... By the way, if you pull out your item, which is not an innuendo, you pull out your item and you hold one, it'll switch it to the first slot. Or if you hold three, four. So if you play this game, that's something you may not have, uh... I'm on my Miss Michael Kane. You might not have known that. You might not have known that. How good is Space Cop? It's, 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 it's okay. Don't go in with expectations. I mean, the back of the Blu-ray, it says, Space Cop is a sci-fi schlock film. I named my, my Twitter Vine Schlock after seeing Space Cop. Let's just say that. Okay, it is the schlockiest of schlock I've ever seen. It's entertaining. I like it for what it is, but it's, it's kind of hard. To, it's hard to make it through the whole movie at times. Because it, it gets really, like, really schlock. But, um... Oh, there's a dude in here. There is, there is a dude Somebody nearby. Somebody was just pummeled to death! Fisticuffs for the win! Yes! There's no way. There's no way I should have lost that battle. What the fuck is wrong with me? A terrible tonight. Holy shit. I am trash tonight. And I even had like the early hit on him too. What guys, what is happening? I'm getting uh I think I'm getting flustered. I think I'm really just getting cold flustered. Yeah, I'm getting cold flustered, everyone. This isn't good. I'm gonna probably maybe switch to a different thing soon. Here, let me get the vine sauce hoodie. Alright, there you go. You've no longer been edged. It's 
So that that is my new expression for when you're just having a really bad night in the calling and you play like shit. Call flustered. Cluster called. You should see about getting the actual Vine Sauce hoodie in the game. Uh, hey, if anyone here div uh, calls, you know, professionally, please let me know. There's a Vine Sauce hoodie that we could throw in the game. Except, uh, you should put a hidden stat on it. The hidden stat is that when you get the hoodie, and you put it on, you get minus 20 speed, health, and luck. Someone in chat just said, my dad made the calling. His name is one gajillion and two. That's his username. So let me ask you a question, one gajillion and two. Does your uncle work for call as well? I mentioned a CD, but is the Redbox album available for download? Tuesday, 6 p.m. My my uncle uh, works for Caltendo. He said that he could put the um the uh he said that he could put the hoodie in the game, but he said that you have to win like one match first, and then 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 we can get the hoodie in the game. Does that sound like like possible? Oh man, I I, I certainly love it when the skeletons and the, the heads are underground. There's someone on Twitter. You know, there's uh, a lot of people that, that add me. One person said, um, hey Vinny, can I make an Apple Dave reaction channel? Like, I'm the keeper of Apple Dave. I was just, oh, whoops. I was just like, I, I didn't respond because, you know what, here's my response. If you're watching, I really don't care. Go, go, just don't tell me about it. <laughs> don't send me any Apple Dave videos. I don't want to see Apple Dave. I don't want to hear Apple Dave. So that's one. Two, another person named Tucker Friend Person friended me, and his tweets were very much like Tucker. Um, and then a dude with the name, what was it? From Active Worlds? Clearly not the real one, but he was like, am I alive? Help me feel. You know, just meme accounts. Just, just memeing it up. Yeah, you thusly have my permission. Listen, Apple Dave is public domain as far as I'm concerned. Now, um, Per Martinello, I don't know, he's he's my creation. Somebody just threw a blade and killed another contestant. Uh, I think I've gone a few far, uh, a little too far in a few places with Apple Dave. I think, uh, because he's a funnier character than we've ever ha had on, on Vine Sauce. And I think what we need to do is diminish the effects of it by somehow trying to erase him from the internet. I know it's possible to remove things from the internet. You know, it is. 
like for example that Beyonce Super Bowl picture I mean no one posts that anymore when Beyonce was like hey remove that it got it got removed you know they took it off the internet off everyone's people the people computers The Streisand effect, they call it. It's when you tell people that you want the thing off the internet, and then it, it goes off the internet because people are respectful and they listen. Yeah, the NX controller, the previous NX controller. With the NX controller with the buttons on it that I discussed on my stream was confirmed as fake. Not the other one, though. Not the one that, that the most recent one. But, uh, the first one. Garbaging. The most recent one, I don't know if that one was confirmed fake, but, you know. I don't, I don't see how it could be real, it, to be honest. Um, the first one was probably made... The first one was made, um, probably because of that patent leak. Or the yeah the patent leak thing, and they were like, hey, let's uh, let's trick people. And then the second one was either photoshopped. Well, I don't think it was confirmed as a photoshop, but the second one was also based on that same patent, and I think it was two pictures of it, and it looked pretty real. So, God, I hope they're fake. I I really wouldn't want to use those as a controller. I don't think anyone has looked at that and said, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Like Bono. Yeah, 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 yeah! An airdrop is on its way with free stuff. Oh! Oh! Three! Fourteen! Grab my package! Grab my package! Sorry, I'm having, like, some problems. Tonight, <laughs> tonight has been today has been a very long day, and there's a lot of mindless ramblings, and I'm now trying to cull properly. I'm having difficulty culling, guys. Sounds like someone's nearby. All these fucking sounds are scaring me. Are you missing a finger? So I just need ten more and I can open that blue crate. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna look for it. So usually a funk barrel around here. Oh, uh, well. I guess we'll just go for body parts. Let my aim be true! Oh, no, never mind. Oh, this sucks. Oh my 
god. Ah! Ah! I want to see him pull that gun out again. Where the fuck? How did he get a gun so early? There it is. Here it is. Oh, he magnum the fuck out of him. Your enemy threw an axe and killed somebody else. It was like a Renaissance fair sideshow. An enemy was just wow. to death. Fifth wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do one more free for all. That's that's crazy. That dude got a really early magnum. I mean, and I was losing the blind fight anyway, but still, that was that was crazy. Jesus. For those asking, it's a digipack. If you know what question I'm talking about, I'm trying very hard to avoid shill calling for my own merchandise, but there, I just did it. Never mind. But Digipack. Oh, I was going to change perks, but never mind. The Paul Simon song still shilling after all these years. Um, am I gonna buy Dark Souls three? Nah, it's not really my thing. Uh, you see how frustrated I get with this. I played like ten hours of Dark Souls one, and I I was enjoying it for a little while, and then I I hit a brick wall, and I just uh, I didn't have the patience for it. I do acknowledge that Dark Souls. Is, is a really good game. It's just maybe not for me right now. That said, I do like Monster Hunter a lot, which has uh, also a pretty large learning curve. But somehow I was able to more easily get into Monster Hunter than Dark Souls. So apologies for those expecting a Dark Souls 3 stream. I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably have, like, a real legit, like, heart attack if I played Dark Souls 3. I, I would, like, you see how this gets me. My resolve is tested. Is it merely a trick of the light? An enemy was just speared to death, if that makes sense. Cool. Speared. Do I still play Final Fantasy Explorers? No. No, no, I, I lost interest in that game after playing it three times. Couldn't do it, man. Couldn't do it. What's worse is that I was playing Monster Hunter just before that, and then Final Fantasy Explorers came out, and I was like... Really? Will I be playing Monster Hunter Generations? Yes. I'm afraid. I am afraid for that game because I put... I've said this a lot of times before, but... 80 hours, if I put that much in a video game, then you can goddamn well bet I love that game. Because 80 hours is, is a very large amount for me.
so. Yeah, I put 80 hours or so into uh, Monster Hunter 4. And I loved it. And I got back into it like three months ago. And then I kind of fell off again. But I am excited for Monster Hunter Generations. I can't wait, actually. But I also am afraid... I'm afraid that I'm going to pump another 80 hours into it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but lately I've been very productive, and I like being productive. <laughs> I really do. So, goodbye, productive. See you later. Do I miss Monster Hunter on consoles? That's that's actually a good question. You ask a lot of qu good questions. Um, the answer is yes, I do, actually. I would prefer a nice, fully featured uh, Monster Hunter game on a console. And uh, I would, yeah, I would really love that. Thief airdrop, huh? Is the thief airdrop? Is the Bowie knife? Yeah. Yeah, I would play that shit. I would play that shit in a heartbeat. I would prefer a nice, like, fully functional, fully featured Monster Hunter Generations Wii U version with, like, really solid online. I've, yeah, I've seen Monster Hunter online. I think it looks good. Holy shit. I just found a fucking rifle. Okay, it, it's time for me to sit up in my chair. It only has two bullets, though. Oh my god. Look how much this thing will sell for. 50. It, it, it would take 75 to get more ammo for it, though. Seventy-five is not a small amount. I think someone's been here already. May I have your attention, please? It's time to play Grab My Package. An airdrop is inbound with something you might like. Airdrops bring people together. Get out there and grab my package. Grab my Another package. pepper spray. Good luck. I don't know why you would leave pepper spray behind. That shit's really good. Sounds like a deflating balloon. Okay, there's some pretty... Pretty good luck I've been having here. I'm gonna come back and get that. First I wanna sell this. And, uh, oh, there it goes. So this is 20. I'm on, actually, I'm well on my way to being able to craft more ammo for my rifle. Is your vision impaired? Come on, be a cool thing in here. Be a cool thing. No, no cool things in there. Okay. Yeah, 
How many times do you have to shove? Because I shoved like twice. Oh, you gotta shove exactly twice. Okay. It's only had a hammer anyway, so. Motherfucker! Fucking Vape God killed me! Someone named Vape God! Your enemy just killed another contestant with a spear! Did he really not see the rifle? I need to follow his progress for a moment and find out if he if he sees the rifle on the floor. If I didn't quit smoking cigarettes, this is where I'd either smoke a cigarette or vape. Also, there was a fucking backpack in there. I didn't even see that. He's not going to see it. He, he's he's just going to... Are you a male? I made you feel better. Do you have a pacemaker or other embedded bioelectric... Are you a male? I made you feel better. Before we started treatment. Live long and watch your back. He, he is ignoring the rifle. He did not see the rifle. He's using a spear and, and letting the rifle just stay put on the floor there. Please, just run away, Vape God. There's nothing left for you here. Yes, take the crafted bow. Very smart. Yes, do not take my recurve bow. He doesn't see it still. Guys, what the fuck? I guess he he's just a real G. What can I say? It's time for Loot Express. In two minutes, a random package will be delivered to Coltech Labs. Wow. Reds, are you still in the chat? Did you want to do, like, one or two? Because I want to switch to Darkest Dungeon soon, but not... Not before doing a team. I need a, I need a win. I need a win, Jeff. You need to help me win. Okay. Jeff is in the chat. Alright. We'll do one. Maybe two. I'm just gonna uh, be the biggest possible douche I can be. If you'll give me a moment here, I need to be more of a douche. Yeah, that's pretty douchey. Maybe I'll just stick with that instead, yeah. I'm gonna be shirtless. <laughs> yes! Look at that. If I win either of the next matches with Jeff, it's because I've switched to douche mode. You are aware of that, right? It has to be like this. It has to. This is the only way you win in this game. failures. Yeah, man, that Vape Nation got you. Vape Nation? 
<laughs> He's a vape god, Jeff. They get you eventually, do, dude. Do not diminish. Do not oh, diminish. Vape. Yeah, but, I mean, someone's gotta be the vape god of the vape nation, you know? For fuck's sake. Are you oh, streaming was... or no? Nah. Okay. Well, listen, can, can, nah. uh, can you help me win? Uh, I mean, we'll see what happens, man. I can't, I can't promise anything. Okay. Maybe I'll be like one of those CSGO trainers you were talking about. Was that you I was talking about that one? Yeah, that was me. That was me. You can help me, right? I mean, you, you, yeah, but it's I'll, I'll pay. You. I got, um, I got an email, guys. I didn't tell the stream. I got an email from someone who was very, very sweet of him to ask, but he was like, Vin, I will coach you in CSGO. I will make you a pro. <laughs> I will get you pro level. And I'm just like, dude, I play casually because I don't have a lot of time to play video games. But thank you. That's really nice. That's really nice. But uh, I'm good. I don't. I don't think I have the time to learn how to be a pro in CS:GO. But uh, Jeff is going to be my coach. He's going to be my call coach. <laughs> I'll try. I mean, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. We'll see what we can do. Okay. We'll see what we can do. <clears throat> so Even if we only do uh, one or two matches, you know. Did you win anything tonight? No. Nah. Nah. Nah, I didn't even get close, Jeff. I saw you get blown the fuck up once, and then I saw the end of that one, too. Then I got Just stabbed now. in the back. Vape Nation guy. Vape God. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> he left my gun. Who is Jeff? Is, is Look, they're doing meme text. A, capital a, W space, capital H space, capital O space is Jeff. Um... Jeff is Vigibum. He's a mod in my chat. He is uh, a longtime viewer. He's a streamer in his own right. His Twitch channel is Vigibum, V I D Y A B U M. And uh, he's been on a number of streams. And he was the guy who hosted the Rust server. So Jeff has a pretty bold claim here in the Vine Sauce realm. It's been around a while. God help you. Vape Nation. No, don't, don't stop that. I don't want to hear about vaping. I mean, come on. That's like one of the best things about the calling is people's names and avatars after you get killed. It like makes it so much worse <laughs> too. Like real bad. Some of them. I, I, I know, I know. At least we, you know, at least we got a hearty chuckle out of it. <laughs> it's like actually like it, an image board from 4chan, but in like avatar form. Like after, if you lose enough matches, you know what I mean. Like yeah. through the, no, through I, the it, length it, of the night. It's just if the names are especially biting, like for example, I've seen a rare Pepe play the game. Yep. Losing to a rare Pepe isn't something you want to do when you're having a bad day. Let's just say that. <laughs> you know. I know, and they're rare too, so that's saying something. Yeah. Um, also, your your name for a while was Reds. Yeah. And people still call you Reds. How does it feel to know that my my band name is well, Red you, Vox? Well, you asked you like if that? you could. You asked if you could name it after me, and I was like, "All right, that's cool." So. Uh, or you were, you're still okay with that, right? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, just checking. Had that big of an effect on your life? Oh, yeah, man, I mean, really far away. You get to know someone over the years, and you just like respect their beard so much that you just want to name your band after the color of it, and uh, all the things that are rhyming with your band name too. After all this time, are you you, yeah. you don't regret that at all? The what name? red cock? Red cock. I mean, I mean, you could you could build that into the. No, into that's the part mythos. of the lore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that's part yeah. of the lore. I don't mind. Right. It's like my mythology, red cocks. Yeah, all right. All right. Um, that's cool. I have a video of Mike playing the dildos on his drums, that um, I'm going to share with you guys <laughs> at some point. Okay, so true story: those dildos actually have a really nice sound on the drums, and we may use them at some point in the future because when you hit a drum, you get like a snap, right? Because you're hitting it with a stick. But when you hit it with like something squishy and soft-ish, you don't get the snap. So you get like a boom. And then when you hit <laughs> when you hit a, a cymbal, you get like a nice washy sound as if you hit it with your like hand. And um, it's it's really bizarre. But yeah, it's hitting drums with dildo sounds great. Yeah, man. Dildo acoustics. Dil dil you could start like a course for it at some college. How, what could we call it? Dild acoustics? Yeah, man. All right, I see you now. I'm coming up on you. I just ran by some guy too. He didn't even. He didn't even try. Yeah, because he knows that we'll, we'll give him what for with our zero I, weapons. I really wish there was a way to turn off its the um like the color, 
the decoloration when you run out of stamina. I'm right behind you. Yeah. Yeah, that would be so nice. annoying. <clears throat> so there well, are here's the thing. quite a few people around here, it looks like. Yeah, we should probably start like getting oh, decent gear. Sure. Oh, fucking hell, we, we're arriving at all these locations second. Oh, you know what? I got something funny to show you, Vinny. Jeff, we're gonna, someone let's, in. Let's, uh, let's just forfeit this round because there's something awesome I need to show you up here. Wait, no, no, don't, don't forfeit. No, 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 just come with me. I mean, let's forget about winning the calling. There's okay. something that you, you need to see. I need to show um, you. Okay. Wait, first of all, why do we look exactly the same? This is a problem. Uh, uh, you know what? It's not a problem. This is cool. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. We're team, we're team Vine, Vine thing, Monk. Bald forehead brothers. Um, so we got to get to the bunker in the back. Okay. Whatever happens, happens on the way there. All right. I'm afraid of what you're going to show me. No, nah, I'm surprised you didn't see this, actually. It's pretty cool. Hang on a second. There's function here. Should I not even be getting funk or no? Uh, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. I hate you. I don't like you being vague right now, Jeff. Well, that's part of the fun of it. There's a dude right there. There's two dudes, so this might be in vain. I just got blown up. Me too. That's what I just heard. Your opponent just threw something and it killed you. Ah. Yeah, it didn't matter. Look at his fucking picture, dude. I didn't see it. Oh, I got called by Cole. Uh, the Serena, is that Serena Gomez? Is that the guy who got you? No, no, no. Decca has a picture of a girl's, like, ass in really, like, <laughs> in, in underwear. Yeah, dude, someone, it's bad like what they can do. By the way, I mean, that's there's, someone, thing, there's someone, there's oh, someone named did, Fuck Me <laughs> Do you see that, the spectator? Yeah. That's crazy that someone actually was able to get in the same game as us. Oh, dear God. I thought there was, for that. wait, I mean, that's just, wow. I'm surprised. All right, fine. Right, oh, that was that didn't count. That was bullshit. We got, we got wrecked. You're not gonna tell me what you want me to see, right? You're just gonna you have to like. <clears throat> no, I mean. Hopefully, we'll just spawn here this time. Right. You have to see it with your own eyes. If only you could see what I've seen with your eyes. Yeah, that's what I knew you were gonna say. That I knew you were gonna say that. Of course, that's my friend Tyler says that almost every fucking time we drink. He gets drunk and he starts quoting Roy Batty. So, I mean, I do it too now. The theatrical version is on Netflix now. I watched it the other day, but I think I like the director's cut more. Which, is that the one with the voiceover? Uh, the director's cut is the one with, like, Harrison Ford talking, I think. No, no, the theatrical cut is the voice. Is acting. that the other way around? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I have the, uh, the version, the Blu-ray with all of the different things on it and uh yeah the theatrical cut of Blade Runner just like it, Harrison Ford just sounds so bored and you could make a joke about his name you know like he's Harrison get it like cause it's gonna rhyme with Ford <laughs> Harrison not giving a fuck it's cause his real life is probably more interesting though <clears throat> than the movies now. I mean, like he survived that plane crash and just like walked out on that golf course and was like, "I'm all right." Compared to like, yeah, you had the Millennium Falcon door crush his leg. By the way, he was just uh, on Jimmy Kimmel and he seemed very happy. Yeah, I man, he's living the life right now. Yeah, but he's usually not happy when he goes on these shows. Like, like Harrison Ford is a very grumpy dude on these shows. He gets very nervous, and he doesn't have a good time. But. I think, like, after Star Wars came out, and it was good, like, he was really just, like, he just became a happy guy. It's really that, weird. Now now he's doing Indiana Jones 5, he's doing Blade Runner 2, like, he's in demand again. I was gonna say, that's, great. Second, that's probably why, too. I'm happy for him. Is the new Indiana yeah. Jones? That'll be interesting. I'm, I listen, if Shia LaBeouf isn't in the movie, I'm, I'm rioting. I need to see him. He needs to outdo his swinging from the vines, Jape. I don't know, I think Sh Shia's gonna... Fade into the into the distance, burning too quick, you know. Well, all the memes. Okay, man. I agree. Um, I gotta say though, he made me like him again because the fact that he's like really self-aware about his 
you know. Oh yeah, totally. But then he goes bullshit. out and like fucks up again, and then it's like, all right, is he actually aware of what he's doing? And then he did like some crazy stuff right after he did all the uh, all the YouTube meme business. True, he, he did watch his movies, you know, with everyone in reverse or something like that. And <laughs> weren't you saying um, that Harrison Ford was upset with him for like speaking out public about something dumb about yeah. Indiana Jones or something like that? Well, when when Indy Four came out and it was getting reviled. Much I'm like the Batman. You, by, the by the way, you got to see Ben Affleck is really sad because he doesn't. There was an interview with him where he's like, "They're like, did you see the reviews for the new movie that you're in the Batman vs Superman movie?" And he's like, "No." He's like, "Yeah, they're they're mixed." <laughs> like, how do you feel about that? And you can tell Ben Affleck is trying his best to keep positive, but in reality, he's just like, "Fuck." Yeah, that's too bad. Ben Affleck was on a roll too, man. He still is, he still can be on a roll, but yeah, anyway, let's, I, uh, let's follow the uh, the perimeter of the shield over all here. Right, all right, give me a sec. I'll be a little bit. Um, safe. What what I'm yeah what I said about Shia was okay. So Indy Four comes out, it's getting kind of panned, and it's a little ridiculous. And um, Shia starts going to like media outlets. They're asking him how he feels about it. He's like, it's garbage. <laughs> Not like that, but he he's you know he's being In very. So many yeah, he's 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 being shitty about it, and Harrison was like, "It was a movie," <laughs> and he was no. Harrison was like, "You know, don't don't do that," you know, because he's a professional. He knows that you're supposed to support whatever it is you're working on, and uh, you know, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like when people. It's a mine. Yeah, Take that's it. good. He doesn't like when people talk shit about the movies they're in. He figures, you know what? Even if it's not that great, support it. To the very end, up until uh, the fucking yeah, Blu-ray release. You're absolutely right, and that's totally <laughs> unprofessional to be like shit talking the movie after you, you yeah. made it. Like all the crew, that's just like you know, it's not all their fault that the movie came out shitty. So you can't really no. I don't know. No, you you got it. You know, I mean, like support it up until after the Blu-ray, <laughs> and then do whatever you got to do. But that's that's you know, people got to eat. So Harrison Ford knows that he's a professional. Yep, but um, much. I I think he's just really happy that Star Wars was good. And uh, now he seems happy again. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but yeah, it's just interesting. Uh, also, Shia, once again, yeah, I, I don't hate him anymore, but I do never really hated the guy, but I, I didn't really like his movies and like the Transformers movies and his whole persona in that. No, 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 no. You know, like that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that was awful. That was so bad. You know what but he was in like around that yeah. period? That was oh, there was one movie that he was in that was semi decent. It was like kind of like a ripoff of like a Hitchcock movie. Um, the fuck was it called? He was like stuck in his room or something like that. And the neighbor, he thought the neighbor was a killer. It was decent. It wasn't like the best, but oh, 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 uh, yeah, I saw. I can't that. remember the name of it. I saw that. It was like a, he was. Um, neither can I. It, it was like a house arrest thing, right? Yeah, kind of something like that. Yeah, it was. It was a good movie. He, he brought a good frantic energy. Disturbia. Is that what it was called? Yeah, that's what it's called. Now you're a little bit behind me. Yeah, he brought a good energy to that movie. See, he's not complete trash. He's, he could be a good actor. And then, like, you know, Transformers as a whole, like, I mean... That's all Michael Bay's fault. I mean... That movie it was just... I don't know what a good... Un incomprehensible. <laughs> it's, it's so hard to know where you are in that movie. There's no, like, like spatial geography. You can't really figure out what's going on. It's just a bunch of fucking CG and explosions. Well, yeah, it's like all, like, dessert or something like that. You know what I mean? There's no, like... There's, there's no... Right, there's no vegetables and there's no meat. It's just dessert. Just like all the fucking explosions meant? and pretty stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. Let's see? It's, it's not bad, that. <laughs> I've shared that. It's been said before. But uh, I will say this. The first Transformers movie I did see in the theater, and, and I enjoyed it. But the second time I saw it, I was like, why did I like this? I don't want to hurt ourselves walking down here. All right, that was fine. You can get this free item over here since I got the mine in the last one. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of hype behind that when it came out, too. Cause, and obviously, growing up with Transformers, that was fucking huge. You know, we were Oh, yeah, that. yeah. It was a huge thing for all of us. I mean, I didn't I didn't hate yeah, the let's first go, movie. Let's go up this way. Oh, is there someone in there? <sighs> There's two people in there. All right, run, 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 run. We're, I don't know have any weapons, really, but we can put this mine down. Hold on. It's right by the tree. Nice, dude. I think I just hit you with the rock. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't do that much damage. Where'd you guys go? I'm getting stabbed from the back. Oh, God. Yeah, Jeff. 
Fuck yeah, Jeff. Let's kill this motherfucker, Dark Assassin. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah! Alright. See, that mine did come in handy. That, that was what's up. That was, <laughs> that was what was up. Yeah, that was Holy good. shit. Well, remember last that... time we were playing, I put that remote uh, mine down and blew those guys up? Yeah. We weren't streaming it, but... That, no, that was good shit. I mean, there's there's a lot so of really weird. great potential for shit like that, but I just never know how to do it. That was awesome. Yeah, that was funny. They thought they thought they had us. <laughs> Got blown good. the fuck up. Nice. All right, cool. So that's that's something that, that I feel. See that like that gets your adrenaline flowing so much though, like something like that. That's why this game is awesome for fucking shit like that. And you know, awesome you guys that are like right now, like God damn it, like. Fuck, man. We just got blown Yo, the fuck I, up. I'm gonna get this hoodlum airdrop. You okay with that? Alright. Go for it. Come here. I got a thing for you, maybe. If you want, um, a oh, steel pipe. Oh, you got the instant drop one? Nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, this, this actually kind of blows. Uh, do you want this satchel? For armor? Um, for... You can make it into armor. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna wear it, actually. Can I use that bandage? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you need a weapon? Uh, I got a knife, stone knife. What else is there? I have a, a spear and I have brass knuckles. You want you want eh. knuckles? It's no. fine. Let's just roll out. The bunker that, is coming up, and hopefully it'll be unlooted. That airdrop sucked. Yeah, which one was that? Hoodlum? Yeah, don't get hoodlum from this point yeah, forward. You just get tier one brass knuckles and iron foreskin and and a backpack. I noticed you had the pirate one now. That's like the best one. Yeah, pirate one is pretty fucking cool. Was that with the revolver? Yeah, revolver and, and a pretty, swashbuckling sword. Pretty good. Pretty. I've actually been watching a lot of Curb lately. It's like one of my favorite shows. Yeah, that's that's in my top like ten shows of all time. It's hard to believe, but like the first season came out in 1999, or like this. Yeah, it at least is fucking crazy. I remember watching the. The standalone, like the very first one, that was just a total like, yeah, standalone, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is this is really good. All right. Where the fuck even are we? You know, this is the I, bunker. I don't think I've ever even seen this part of the map, dude. You've been up here. This is my favorite spot. Oh yeah, maybe I have been up here. Yeah, I've been up here. Um, you know what though? <laughs> We're kind of close to the. It's already been looted. But I, the secret I I wanted to show you is coming up. It's not really a secret that much, but I I'm actually bracing for impact about the secret right here. No, it's something too crazy. It's just kind of okay. fun. So follow me off on this catwalk. So I like to wait up here. It's like no one ever goes up there really. Before we do that, let me just sell this these brass knuckles. Like, it's nice to kind of just, like, wait out up here in a free-for-all if you have, like, enough stuff. <clears throat> but. Over here. Dude, there's a lot of, like, corpses around around here. I'm just looting a little bit. Yeah, it's really good for farming corpses, too, because you can see them real easy. Yeah. A lot, a lot of former contestants, as they're called. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I've never been up here to the coal cast thing. I've always just seen this, but never been this close to yeah, it. You don't really like see many people coming up here. So over here. Do you see this? Oh, no shit. Can you fall through there? Oh my god. You lose a little health for doing this, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's like broken as fuck. <gasps> oh my god, dude. I so fell in here by accident one time when I was waiting for a free for all to end, and I was streaming it, and people were like, "What the fuck?" It's just like, oh, "What the?" F <laughs> <laughs> so, no oh shit, no! <laughs> Did you jump off? No, I just I strafed no. off by accident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gave me that darkest acid guy too. It <laughs> so now what? No, I don't know. I'm just gonna jump off, I guess. I want. There's um. You can kind can of. Can you recover from this? 
Yeah, you could just jump out. So this is the other side where the, that tunnel starts, kind of like where we did that airdrop. And you can just jump out. And you can just jump out, but I don't want to. There's like a way to fall through the ground here. Oh, you hear someone jumping, walking through that tunnel? Okay. Okay. I'm going to ambush him. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're not letting me jump over that part. Uh -oh. oh god. They, they <laughs> left. They left. I'm stuck in the wall now, though. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't get. You couldn't exploit. Ah! Uh, no! Yep! See ya! He, see, he was searching for you, too. He was looking. <laughs> I killed you. Yo, it says I killed you. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Why'd you kill me? You I, I think me? I hit you with a rock once. <laughs> yeah, because you backstabbed me, I think, in that fight, possibly. Oh, yeah, you hit me with a rock. So. All right, listen. I can only do one more. I'm sorry. Right, that's fine. No, I don't care. It's cool. I just thought that you would find that kind of funny. That was that was that was good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Unfortunate because we were having a pretty decent match, but I know. But I fell off, and then you got stuck. It was still funny. It's not returning to the main menu for me. There it is. <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah, that's too bad. That was a good, uh, a good mind kill. I got those two other guys, but yes. Yeah. Well, this is the last chance I have to win. <clears throat> so you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pull one clutch out of our asses, Jeff. All right. No pressure. No pressure. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, give myself a stomach ache. I got those gel rings. Gel mm -hmm. rings. Oh, isn't that like jewelry or something like that? No, like the chocolate rings with the jelly inside. I don't know. No? That before. Chocolate rings with jelly inside? Yeah. Hmm. You never have. Oh my god. From. What's the name of this company? Uh, J O Y V A. J O Y V A. Yeah. No. Nah. Where'd you get those? Supermarket. Huh. They're really good. Like really, really good. <laughs> like your your chat is like, what the fuck is he talking about? Uh, it's not the type of jelly you think it is. Fuck, now I have to show a picture. Um they're, they're, they're stupid good. They shouldn't be this good. It's those. If you see on the stream there. I'll show you. Yeah, it's not like jelly. Not like, like it's more... I don't know how to explain it. It's just really good. It shouldn't be, but it is. It's like a pastry. Yeah, it's well, kind of, but it's... The, the jelly is more, like, bad for you. You know? Hmm. All right, all right. It's not... Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> It's bad for you, Jeff. That's the best I can say. <laughs> Everything's bad for you. Alright, where are you? Well, see, the people that know what they are are saying they're delicious. Are you in the satellite right now? Mm-hmm. Alright, cool. I'm coming in. Yeah, I started right next to it. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore. Are you in here? Yeah, I'm in the bottom. Oh, thank God. I was like, what's going on? Have you been playing this at all uh, off stream? I played once off stream. Um, two days ago. With Found a backpack. Nice. One of my, uh, one of my friends that has it. A few people are actually getting this. Like I've, I noticed my Steam list is becoming more. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> more engorged. It's fairly popular on Twitch, too. Like, it gets to the front page most nights. Like, you know, 7,000, 8,000 people watching. Yeah. And this is only gonna get more popular as the updates get, you know, make it better and more stable. Yeah, I hope they don't fuck anything up. Hope so. Uh, you know, there's always that potential. If they split it into two games, for example, 
like what what was that one game that split into two separate oh, versions of itself? That, no. Well, H one Z one, I think, is probably the most. That's well the one I was thinking song. of. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking of. Arc kind of has that too now. Well, Arc has the, the like the faster mode, right? Yeah, they have like a King of Hill mode, kind of like same thing as this in some aspects, but yeah, there might be Funk up top there. Actually, to tell you the truth, I, uh, I thought I heard someone out there too. I've I've never gone up there. <clears throat> Yeah, there's usually like a little funk barrel, but not all the time. I, I hate myself for reading these things. God damn it. An enemy just killed somebody with a spear. Oh shit. You know what game we should play sometime? What's that? Alfred and the Fiduch. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Yeah. That's my favorite, man. Yeah, from Action 52. <clears throat> Now you gotta get, you gotta get all those uh, fettuccines. Yeah, you're you collecting every fettuccine. By the way, you want to hear a good trick? What, if you what have, <clears throat> here's my trick. Here's my tip for the game. All right. If you have zero items, or just one like melee weapon, axe. and you have the rest of your slots completely free and open, pick up a bunch of rocks. So that way you can do cool stuff like this. Yeah, you can just throw them at people, yeah. Also, it's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. Is this guy by himself or what? Yeah, I think he is. We have to kill the weak ones. Man, I fucking hate stamina in this Your game. I think he just found his partner. Or someone. Yeah, they're together. They're together. They're, they're, oh, they're, they're shooting someone now. Are they? Yeah, they're shooting someone with a bow and arrow. Should, should we uh, wait and then gank? Eh. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'll just abandon abandon that. It looks like this place has already been hit. I thought that maybe it hadn't been. Let me check it real quick. Someone is butchering other contestants. I have nothing. I I have a crafted knife and that's it. This sucks. Um, I have a crowbar and that's really it. Do you want the crowbar or trade you for the knife? No, no, no. better. I actually like the knife. It's it's pretty yeah, good. The knife is really good. It's probably the most. All right, let's just fucking go kill someone in here. All right, here we go. Let's take the two. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Did you just kill both of them? Nice. Yeah. We are opportunistic scumbags, let me tell you. <laughs> I was Holy about to say, man, shit. we're saving you. We're the good guys. But then, yeah, sure, we're the good guys. <laughs> we killed them both. Uh, there's a backpack here. Do you need it? I got one already. Right, I'm gonna use some other one. Camera, then there's Ooh, snares tomahawk. if you want them. Tomahawk is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take the snares. Oh my god, we just Jeff, we fucking scumbagged them so hard. <laughs> we we would have if that happened to us, we would have been cursing and and fucking <laughs> defiling the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I know, but that's the uh, that's the name of the game. They got cold. They got cold out. Yeah, you, that's right. Coco gas station. Well, the fog rolls. Might makes right, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, good news is. I might be able to get an air uh, air drop in a second. Yeah, it's called an airstrike too. Airstrike. Yeah, I was about to say airstrike. Um, do you see any airdrops nearby? There's one right down the water where we were, I think. Okay. I don't know what I have, but I'm just I'm gonna open this blue box. Hope. Go for it. For something yeah. good. Only Depending on my airstrike, this. Or, airstrike. Ooh, compound bow. It's all right. It's God, I have the SWAT airdrop, dude. What's that? That's like gun. That's like a fucking submachine gun. Nice. Oh no, there's a poison around here, I think. Go and watch out. Alright, here's what I want to do. Let's find another place to loot, and then I can sell, and then we can get my Are you popping it now or no? I don't have enough, it's 170. Right. Let's go to the back corner, there's usually nothing back here. Probably safer. I'm, I'm close though. I'm like right behind you. Okay, I'll follow you. Um, we'll go up to the rec center, shoot some hoops. Usually it's quiet up there. I still don't really know my way around the map. Like, just oh, yeah, I gotta sight. see the map I found. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a submachine gun. Some funk on the ground here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 
this is, this will be good for me. And yeah. just really need about another 75. Oh, you and need then, that much more? Damn. Yeah, but I have um some stuff I can sell. You no, know, I so see I'm a light. Do you see that? Is there, a, is there an airdrop jump flying over us? With a blade. Not directly over us. Because I got the bow, I could shoot it down. Hear it. It's getting closer. I know, I hate that. The sound design is a little bit, leaves a little bit to be desired in this game. I agree, you don't get like a full Oh, I see, I see it, I see it. It's coming right at us. It's way too high though. I don't know if I can hit that. I don't, I don't think it's like possible to hit that. Is it going up? Yeah, it's going up. I can't tell. Yeah, it's going up. Is this place it's, empty? It's yeah, it's yeah. receding into the sky. Um... All right, so never mind that. Let's let's just try to see if we can loot some more things. Maybe something back here, maybe. This place looks like it hasn't been hit yet. Yeah, this one's good. Come loot up here. Uh, Vinny, if you saw a corpse in real life, would you fist it for funk? <laughs> Hell yeah. For, for fun. Forget about funk. Yeah, yeah, no, forget about funk, exactly. Okay, I, there's a lot of loot in here that I'm gonna sell, so... Here's a bandage you can put this into. You wanna throw that my way? Yeah, you can recycle that. Oh, there's an item box over here too, man. Let me see what's in here. Oh, I yeah. Was. Actually, you know what? I might hold on to the bandage. For the, uh... Alright, you do what you're gonna do. Armor. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's yet. a steel pipe over here. You can recycle that. I'm All gonna right. recycle the snare. Here. Thank you. The steel pipe fucking sucks. I hate that. Yeah. Thing. Uh, you know, it's in a pinch. Yeah. I'd rather have the knife, really, more than that. The stone knife, rather. If no one hit the refinery down here, we probably can get a good chunk. How much more do you need? Just 50. Oh, Not wow. even. Not even. 20, 30. 20, there's, 30? There's, yeah. Now I need uh, 20. And I have the javelin I can recycle for 20, so I got it. We're, we're good. Very right, cool. So what we need to do now is just find a nice There's spot one to... over here. I have the instant still, so... Oh yeah, so it doesn't even really matter. Yeah, there's one right ahead of us. Okay, well then we'll get that. Also, I forgot to get rid of my stone knife, so I'm just going to do that now. I'll take that. It's in the ground. Cute. Here we go. That perk is fucking good. I know, I know. Especially in a team battle. Body armor, dude. So I can like watch out for you while you're calling it. Was what kind of gun was it? I fucking hate Steam notifications. Hang on a second. You, you know, you can be offline, Vinny, and invite me. You don't have to actually be online, I think. Are you sure about that, though? I think if you're offline, you can invite people who are online. Uh, I'm okay. pretty sure. I'm not positive. All right, well, I'm Here's offline one. now. This is the last match, so I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't even matter anyways. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have the thing. And right, I hear people. So... I hear people up here, too. I hear some man yelling. Caveman sounds. Okay. Wait, so you got the submachine gun? I got the submachine gun, yeah. I got oh, body armor guy, submachine right gun. There. Where? They're on the rock right in front of me. Okay, when should I pull out the machine gun? Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, smoke. Smoke. I, I did it. I threw it. I blinded him. So we can go for the other one while There's he's There's a guy trying to flank us, too, yeah. Oh, he's got a gun! Oh my god, I just got fucking... Completely... Destroyed by that guy with the gun. This guy's all going for me. Yeah, the dude, everything's happening right here, right now. <laughs> Just take your gun out and fucking destroy him. I don't, they, they got my gun. Oh, I got it out and they... Uh, that's probably why. Uh, uh, Fucking hell. Full crumb. I 
hate the dropping weapon bullshit. That, that annoys me so much. I ran up to stab this guy and he just took out a submachine gun and fucking wrecked me. Yeah. And then I shot the dude a few times with it. I got his damage done, came up to me, meleeed me, instant gun drop. And, yeah, that's uh, pain in the ass. Yeah. That's alright. I mean, it was, you know, it's fair enough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was unfair, but damn, that sucked. Alright. Well, I'm gonna switch to Darkest Dungeon for a bit, so, uh, right, man, right, thanks for so joining me, dude. We'll get him next time, Benny. Yeah, we'll get him next time. I'll see you later, man. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. All right, so here we go. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to take a quick break. Let me get something to drink real quick, and I will be back with Darkest Dungeon. Let me just uh, take a minute and change the information so that people don't come here. This isn't the calling. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys.